Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Microsoft Outlook 2010. My name is Sarah and today we're going to spend our time talking a little bit about the great features in MailTips. The MailTips feature is basically designed to prevent users from making common email mistakes, like sending an email to a large number of recipients, or trying to send emails to users you do not have permission to send to. Let's check them all out. First, I'm going to show you how to get to your MailTips options so you can view and edit your MailTip settings. In Outlook, open the File tab and select Options. Click on Mail and scroll to the lower half of the page. Click on MailTips options and this will open your settings. Here you can make changes to the types of MailTips you want displayed and when you would like them to show up. Now we're going to talk a little bit about each mail tip. The first mail tip is called Restricted Recipient. Restricted Recipient is displayed when you do not have permission to send messages to a specific recipient, and even if the message is sent, it will not get delivered. The next mail tip is called Moderated Contact Group. The Moderated Contact Group tip is displayed when a contact group has a moderator or gatekeeper who reviews incoming messages and determines if the message should be delivered to the contact group. Another great tip is the invalid recipient address tip. This tip is displayed when the recipient's address is no longer valid. This is common if a recipient address was stored in the nickname cache, but the recipient has left your organization since the last time it was used. The next tip we're going to discuss is the too large for recipient message. This message is displayed when the size of the outgoing message exceeds the size limit for incoming messages of one or more of the recipients. A similar tip is the message too large to send tip. This is displayed when the recipient's mailbox is full and the message cannot be delivered to them. This tip is very helpful in preventing lost emails. The next tip is the large number of recipients or contact group tip. This is displayed when the number of recipients that the message will be delivered to exceeds a defined value set by the exchange administrator. A really helpful tip is the recipient is using automatic replies tip. This is displayed when a recipient has turned on their automatic reply or out of office message. The next tips are small but still very useful. The external recipient and the external recipient in contact group tips notify you when a message recipient is outside of your organization. For example, if you are sending a message to several people, it will notify you when someone in the contact group is from outside of your organization. The last tip we're going to discuss today is the mailbox quota about to be exceeded tip. This message is displayed when the message being composed will push your mailbox quota over the limit and it will not be possible to send more messages until space in the mailbox is freed. The Outlook mail tip feature is intended to replace messages that might otherwise be sent as an automatic response. For example, for messages like you will receive a response within 72 hours, or this mailbox is not monitored. Mail tips might also be useful for a user who works part-time and might not want to always have an automatic reply message set up. Each of these mail tips can be turned on or off in the mail tips options, which again is located in the mail section of the Outlook options. As you can see, Outlook has several capabilities that can be useful to you every day. That is all we have to show for today. If you would like to learn more about Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft Outlook, check out our Facebook and Twitter pages and visit our channel here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial was useful. See you soon!